stop sabotaging yourself. This is not going to be one of my regular videos about skincare and cosmetics. See, here we are at the tail end of January 2019. We've all made these wonderful New Year's resolutions, and some we'll keep up with and some we won't. And because of that, I've been thinking a lot about the state of our minds as women. So I turned 40. I have a lot of different things in my mind now that I'm this age than before. And I realize that a lot of times I'm hindering my success because of the dialogue that's going on in my mind. And I don't think that I'm the only one that does this. I think this is a common problem amongst most women, um, especially as we get older. So we're middle-aged now, it's really hard to say. Um, and we are sabotaging ourselves by the way we're speaking to ourselves in our mind. And here's what I mean. So we have to stop the negative self-talk. Everybody does it. And I think we do it so often that we don't actually realize that we're doing it so much, but it's affecting our daily lives. So we go around saying, oh, I'm not rich enough, I'm not tall enough, I'm not thin enough, I'm not smart enough. We're projecting all of this negativity onto ourselves and then we're taking that and we're projecting it also to the world. And that has to stop because that is getting us absolutely nowhere. If I continue telling myself, I'm not good enough, I won't be good enough. And I won't be giving myself those chances that I might be giving myself if I actually think I'm good enough to do it. So if you're like me and you tend to dog yourself down with, with all of this negativity, we have to find a way to stop it. And we have to catch ourselves when we do it and go, oh wait, yes, I am smart enough. It doesn't matter if I'm a little overweight or I want to lose weight. Well, guess what? You're the only one that can do that. So take that responsibility. That's solely up to you, what you want to do with it, right? So if you want a new job, you're the only one who can educate yourself, send out resumes, network, and all of those things to get yourself a new job. You can't rely on someone else to do it for you, right? If you want to lose weight, you can't rely on someone else to do it for you either, right? It's all on you. So I think this needs to be the year that women, especially like me who are middle-aged and I'm really thinking about, okay, am I today where I want to be or where I thought I was going to be 10 years ago? Maybe not. So how do I change that? And the number one thing that I find myself doing is constantly telling myself things that are absolute crap lies and you're doing it too. You know you're doing it on a daily basis and you need to stop it today. That needs to be your number one resolution in this new year is to stop telling yourself lies and crap and constantly having this negative dialogue going on here that is going down to your heart and into your soul and then you're projecting it out to the entire world. You're so much better than that. We're so much better than that. We are women, we're powerful. There's so many things that we can do and we are not giving ourselves credit for it. So the next time that you start talking to yourself mentally like that, oh, I wish I had gone to college. Oh, I wish I were smarter. Oh, I wish I could fit into that size jean. Find a way to, to catch that and say, no, 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 no. You know, maybe I do wish I was smarter, but I'm gonna go educate myself on that. I'm going to read more. I'm going to study more. Um, oh, I'm not good enough. Yes, you are. Why? Why would you tell yourself that, right? Um, so stop with that negative self-talk. Try to catch yourself. That is a practice on its own is to catch yourself every time you're telling yourself a lie about yourself that isn't true. We don't want to tell ourselves things that aren't true to the point where we start to believe them. That's where it's just a, a domino effect of, of negativity and you're sabotaging every possibility you could possibly have for success, right? So when you catch yourself being negative, 
turn it opposite and make it positive. And start your day off with, with having gratitude, being grateful. You're having your morning coffee. I'm grateful for my spouse. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for my coworkers. I'm grateful for my kids. I'm grateful for the situation that I'm in today. When you start your day feeling grateful for things, it's going to set your mind on a more positive tone from the very beginning. So practice doing that. And then throughout the day, when you catch yourself kind of feeling down on yourself, stop it and say in your mind something positive about yourself, right? Um, I struggle, we, you know, we all have insecurities and we all struggle. I struggle with feeling invisible, with feeling not important, like, like I'm sometimes not good enough, that I'm not, or I haven't achieved the things that I thought 20 years ago I would achieve. And I have to learn to let go of that and be grateful for all of the beautiful things around me because I actually have a lot to be grateful for. And so do you. So start your day being grateful. When you start this practice, either putting it in a journal, sentences, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that, I'm grateful for my house, I'm grateful for my dog, right? You're gonna find out very quickly, there's a lot of things you're grateful for. And it's going to make you feel more positive. It's going to make you feel happier throughout your day. And then learn to start sending out affirmations into the world of, I am smart, I am beautiful, I can do anything. I can go and get that job. I can lose weight. You can do anything, right? Anything you set your mind to, it's all up to you. Take responsibility for yourself, for your mind especially, because it's so important what we are feeding. It's not just what we're feeding our body, it's what we're feeding our mind, right? So I've just been thinking about that a lot and I wanted to put it out there. I know I'm not the only one who struggles with this. Women are very, very hard on themselves. I know I am and I know you are too. If you're doing something, a practice that's really helping you through certain things and you found ways to be super positive. I would love to hear what, what you're doing. You know, I think that's great. I, I want to know everything I possibly can about how we can combat this problem of sabotaging ourselves through our internal dialogue. So I hope that, uh, I hope this helps someone and um, just, I just wanted to put it out there. Just a, just a thought about how we can be better in 2019. It's, um, it's not all about beautiful hair, beautiful skin, and you know, we can wear the nicest clothes and buy the nicest handbags, but at the end of the day, it's what's in here, and it's what's in here. And if 